So have you ever put an outfit together and thought it was great and then you see a photo of it later and you're like, what was I thinking? We've all been there, myself included. It's part of the journey and I think the thing to understand is that along that path that we're all on, that we are going to make some mistakes. So what I thought I would do today is to show you some of my worst outfits and give you some commentary on them. So hopefully you can avoid making some of the mistakes that I made. What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style and today, six of my worst outfits. So the good news, at least from my perspective, is that I had to go back kind of far into the archive to dig these up. So what that tells me is that over time, I have learned a lot, especially from some of the mistakes that I've made. So that makes me feel good, but this isn't about feeling good right now. This is about humbling myself in front of you. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, this first outfit here is pretty much my least favorite outfit that I've ever put together. I just, just so much going wrong here. Um, just some context for what this outfit is, is I was looking for a way to sort of, um, well, the post was about how to dress up a leather jacket. So I wanted to take the leather jacket out of its uh, more casual context and put it into a more dressed up setting. I just, I really don't like this look. I, I, I really, it was really sort of like trying to put a square peg in a round hole here. Um, the biggest problem with this is that the thing, the things just don't match up. So, and it's mostly the um, fabrics. So if we see a little bit of a closer picture, you can see like the wool of the trouser just doesn't really gel with the leather jacket. And let's talk about this uh, shirt as well. It's got a smaller co collar. I wouldn't wear a collar like that now. I just was like trying a little too hard to make these things work well together. And I just, I just don't think they work well at all. And then the glasses, I mean, I like those glasses a lot, but I just don't think with this outfit that they really go. The tie is good on its own, of course, but again, this was just an, an attempt to try something and it didn't really work out. So moving on. So I must say <laughs> that this outfit was one of the very first that we shot when we started He Spoke Style. Um, when I was first getting into it, I was very influenced by Tom Brown, you know, the uh, black fleece that he was doing with Brooks Brothers. It was it was interesting to me, you know, this blazer in particular, you're either gonna love it or you're, you're, you're gonna hate it. I'm still, I don't think it's terrible, the blazer itself, but the problem here is that there's just too much going on. And I'm not talking about the pattern necessarily. What I'm talking about is, when we go into the um, detail shot here, you'll see what I'm talking about. So not only do I have the blazer, but I've got this like pocket square that's just kind of crazy, and then the tie isn't tied very well. I've got the collar pin going on too. Um, you can see I have braces on, which, well, you don't see when I have the jacket on, of course, but then also this small detail, can't really see here, but the cufflinks, they have a skull on them. <laughs> you know, overall, I just, uh, I was trying to make it work, like I wanted to make it work, um, but I think the overall effect was that it sort of came out like I was trying too hard and there's just too much going on here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there we have that one. Oh, by the way, I still have this jacket if anyone is interested in it, just leave me a comment. <laughs> okay, so this one, another attempt to um, do something more with a regular piece. So we're talking about the pinstripe suit here. Again, like the first look we looked at, I think my intent was good, but the execution was poor. I just think there's too much going on here. So the idea for this was I wanted to try and take the pinstripe suit out of the business context and give it a little more kind of uh, of a fun flair. It, it's summer, that's why I have those uh, linen loafers on. But again, I just think there's too much going on here that is not good. <laughs> so we got the club collar shirt, which on its own is fine. Got a funky tie. This pocket square fold that 
I tried to make look tossed off and easy, but I think it looks like a mess. Now that I'm looking at it, they have the, the glasses that don't really match and, and then um, too many bracelets. There's just too much going on here. Overall, I think I was just trying a little bit too hard. And as a result, it's, it's just something that I'm not, not really a fan of now. Okay, next look. I don't think this is necessarily such a bad look. Um, it's just kind of missing something in my eyes. I mean, it, it's very simple, just a, a double-breasted jacket with a linen shirt and um, some off-white trousers. It's a summer look. Um, I think maybe what could have helped here is a hat of some sort, just to kind of give the whole outfit a little more shape. Um, also, I don't think my uh, choice of sunglasses was appropriate um, for this. Maybe with uh, a pair of Clubmasters or something a little more classic, uh, I think I would feel a little bit better about this. But again, the, th what I was attempting to do here was to take a double-breasted jacket and make it a little more casual, thus wearing it open uh, without a tie or anything like that. But to me, this just feels... Oh, I'm also missing a pocket square. There could have been one that slipped down. I don't know. I don't remember. It's a long time ago that we did this one. But uh, overall, I just feel like there's something missing. And, uh, you know, not a terrible look, but not complete, I guess is what I would say. Next look here. Okay. Again, this, this outfit was sort of like content driven. And by content driven, I mean like have like, I like to show one piece many ways. So in the case of this uh, look here, we're talking about this chunky cardigan. Um, I think the biggest problem here, well, what I wanted to do was take, you know, this is like a piece that I normally wear around the house, but I wanted to see if I could style it in a way that it could be worn outside in a different kind of context. So again, I think the biggest problem with this look here is the coat, much like the first look where the leather didn't match the uh, wool trousers. I think the coat does not match the texture and the fabrics that it is there. I don't know why I chose this coat. I probably because I just got it and I was really into it. But as you can see, especially in this photo here, the it's kind of got a, a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not a shiny coat, but it just doesn't gel well with the wool. Um, cardigan and the flannel pants. I think with a different coat, this look could work. But again, I think this is just was a poor choice of coat for this look. So there you have it. All right, the last one. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what it was. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remember this. Now, this was, again, one of the very first looks that we ever shot for He Spoke Style website. Um, Again, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it other than the biggest thing is that it feels too costumey to me now. Um, I think if this was for like some kind of photo shoot, um, it would be fine, but this is not something I would wear <laughs> today. It looks like someone who, well, it is someone who was just getting into you know, wearing suits and, and men's style and, and trying to kind of do the dapper thing. And I've got the bow tie and the, the little newsboy hat. Again, I, it's not a terrible look. It's just, it's just, to me, it's not something that I would wear today. I think it feels too affected. And uh, for that reason, you know, I just, I just wouldn't, wouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, it was a good sort of experiment. And, and I remember doing this photo shoot. It was, it was kind of fun to do. But uh, overall, this is not something that, you know, you'd see me wearing today. So there you go, some of what I would consider to be my worst outfits. I think the biggest takeaway in reviewing those and going through them again is that trying too hard is probably one of the biggest mistakes that we all make. And the thing about it is, is that I think it's sort of unavoidable, especially when you are first getting into or getting serious about men's style. It's hard when you're first getting into it to be like, yeah, I'm just going to wear a classic clothes styled in a classic way. There's always like this impulse to want to stand out or maybe more to the point to show people that you're into men's style and that almost always results 
in going too far or trying to do too much. Now, I'm not telling you to not explore or try different things because you know, you might find something that works for you or feels right to you. Don't be afraid, but at the same time, I think being a little cognizant of the impulse to do too much is a good mindset to be in. So leave your comments below, maybe share some of your worst outfits. Hey, I shared mine um, and what you learned from those experiences. Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.